Stevie, 4 3 after the extra time tonight here at Crossgates. How are you feeling after that 120 minutes? Shattered, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and really, really shattered for the boys as well. I think they put a hell of a lot into the game from the second half right through the extra time. I think they let themselves down first half, but second half, magnificent. Absolutely, second half and the extra time, magnificent. Both teams going at it, hammer and tong, proper cup tie. They scored at the last kick of the ball, almost happens. I mean, I can't fault the guys. They're out on their feet. People might tell me where the three subs you could have used, but I really didn't see a sub to be made come the last part of the extra time. I felt the subs that were made were made because they had to be made. Uh, I think Dawson and Ben coming off, they'd done their, done their shift. We're in front, put on two guys like Lumbo and Summy. They are fine. Put on young, young Reese because Big Dawson, Big, Big Daryl was hurt, so we went on. But we couldn't see any other sub other than me, Max, for out of steam. So apologies to the three boys, then they got on. But I have to say, the boys are in there shattered, really, really, really disappointed they've not got some out of this season because it's been such a great ride all season long. They've been fantastic. I've got nothing but praise for them. And hopefully next year it'll be even better. So we can look forward, we can look back the way. Wish Crossgate's all the best in the semi final. If they play like that, they'll have a chance. Uh, so all the best of them. It was a really good game. And if you came to your seven quid to watch tonight, you've got, you got more than your fair share, that's for sure. So I really enjoyed the game tonight. But. I'm a bit disappointed with the result. Does that show the character in the dressing room as well, having been 2 0 down to get back to 3 2? 100% agree it does because I think at half time both Davey and myself challenged them about their desire and their will to win and maybe coming here with the wrong attitude. Um, but they turned it around second half, that's for sure, uh, to turn around from 2 0 to 3 2 and looking like the most likely winners of the game till the mistake was the free kick and the score. I think it's been some, some uh, game to be fair with that. So I think the boys. The rules to the challenge and they showed what they're all about. And that's the final game of the season now, but can you sort of encapsulate the season as a whole? It's been great. I mean, honestly, to be pipped for the league on goal difference, then be put out your last cup, the extra time in the last minute, it's been a hell of a few weeks. That's our first defeat in 10. It's our first defeat in 10. The boys since the Hillebeath game have been magnificent. Absolutely magnificent to a man. Even the young boys are coming out. I mean, special mention tonight to Max McGinley. He's a 16 year old, made his full debut tonight and played for 110 minutes. He was outstanding. Outstanding. A top performer, if you ask me. It just shows you the future of the club, where it's going. That's as it bloodied both Ricky and Max this year. On top of that, we've got so many good players in there, so many good young players, so many good experienced players. And yeah, we're going to lose Kieran, we're going to lose Nicky. We might lose one or two others, but we'll add one or two as well. And I'm sure next year we'll be stronger for this year. The disappointed they felt tonight, this might felt on Saturday. I'm sure they'll use it as motivation. And I'm sure we'll be as good, if not better, than we were next year than we were this year. Thank you, Stevie.